It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the New York Jets and the New England Patriots, and it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Today, a fun matchup in the AFC East as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the New England Patriots. Brandon God and Charles Davis back with you. And Charles, for years, a trip to Foxborough quite often led to a loss for opposing teams. But the Patriots have been, in essence, a 500 team since the departure of TB12 three years ago. And things have switched because they are a defense-led team, and that's what's kept them in most games. Their key, can they get more explosive on offense and truly establish who their QB1 is? Now, meanwhile, for the Jets, you know, even putting the quarterback situation aside, this is an exciting time for them right now. Yeah, they were just 7-10 last year, I get that. But they're building a roster that's potentially got some future stars involved. They certainly are, remember. Going 7-10, they were 7-3 at one point last season. And they finished the year with the offensive and defensive rookies of the year. So you know that this roster is really on the rise. Here's a punter, Thomas Morstead, to get this one started. And we are underway in Foxborough. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. So here come the Patriots, led by Bailey Zappi at quarterback in his second season now out of Western Kentucky. And he's a young man who's always believed in his talents. Didn't have many offers out of high school, ended up at Houston Baptist and put up monster numbers. Decided to take the next step and go to Western Kentucky, and he did it again. Set NCAA records for passing touchdowns and passing yards in a single season. Now the big jump to the NFL. This guy's like a very skilled point guard, knows how to deal and put the ball in the proper place with every throw. A thousand yard rusher a year ago. Here's Ramon Ray Stevenson. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Now Zappi. That's complete. Demario Douglas with it. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. 17 yards there for the Patriots as they've got themselves a first down. You always worry about those smaller receivers running through that gnarly patch of land in the middle of the field. But he did a really nice job there holding on to the football and protected himself as best he could while completing the play. Stevenson now on first and ten. Shedding the tackle and it gives him some room. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. Thought they were going to have him down a lot earlier, but he was able to shed that tackle. Shows the value of the weight room, doesn't it? Shows the value of the attitude when you run the football. Don't go down easily. Break a few tackles. Gain some additional yardage. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Now Zappi. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So many offenses want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. Here's second and ten. Zappi looks to throw it. 
That is incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it, sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And, yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Looking to throw, Zappi. And now another one thrown incomplete. And the Jets' defense making things difficult there. Fourth down. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by Zach Wilson, former second overall pick, now in his third season out of BYU. And what was really attractive about Zach Wilson coming out of college, coming out of BYU, his ability to create and make plays when many people thought they didn't exist. But what's been even better is watch him improve in the pocket able to hit the back foot, make the right read, and the right throws. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Throwing to start the drive, Wilson. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give him credit, they recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short, so that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. They'll set up the screen for Hall. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially as pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. Wilson. That's complete right side to Lazard. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Now a second and six. They'll run for the first time with Brees Hall. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots D on third down. To throw is Wilson. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Well, we know he can run the football too, but he's a good pass catcher. And that's been on display here, Charles, on this opening drive. And we certainly have seen the benefits of what he did in the offseason, which was spend more time with wide receivers working on routes, working on cuts in order to make himself a more complete running back and even more of a threat downfield. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4-4, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game, like we're watching an operation taking place right now. Master surgeon at work. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw here going to be caught by Wilson. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. we got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice, sustained series to begin the game, and it will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people, bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to haul that one in. 
On second down, a run with Hall. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. From the gun on third down, Wilson. This is Cobb with a catch right side. And he is going to have a Jets first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. Another completion right there. And again, Charles, good time in the pocket. That offensive line on this opening drive been really solid. They've been more than solid. They've really tamped down the pass rush and kept him safe in the pocket, able to look around, find his target, and deliver. He's got to make sure he tells the offensive line in the huddle. Thanks, fellas. Let's keep it going. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. On first and ten, it's Hall. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Four yards to go on second down from the seven. They'll go again with Hall. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. From the two, here's first and goal. They'll run with Hall. And he's in! Touchdown, Jets! Brees Hall taking it in from two yards out. And the Jets are on the board first here this afternoon. So both sides of the football contributing here early. Their defense forces the punt, and then the offense takes it down the field and punches it in on the short touchdown run. And Brandon, that's good complimentary football, and that's what they're going to need if they want to get out of here victorious. Zerline good with a PAT, and that makes the score Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten. Zappi to throw on first down. They'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. First and 10, Zappi. He'll find Smith-Schuster again. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. That connection seemed to work out okay on the first play of the drive. Why not go right back to it? And once again, this defense is left without an answer as they surrender back-to-back -back first downs. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. 
Zappi back to throw. He'll find Smith Schuster. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Second down, Zappi. Got a man open, that's Devontae Parker complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 22-yard line. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Zappi now on first and 10. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Second and 10. And Zappi to throw. Touchdown! Devontae Parker. 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots are an extra point away from evening this one up. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And we are tied at seven. A drive that time of six plays. And Devontae Parker able to finish it off with a touchdown reception. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. A running play on first down will get four up to the 29. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second and six, just inside the 30. Here's Wilson to throw. Open man, here is Cobb. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Here's Wilson. And check down, complete to Hall. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. So he stopped for no gain, and it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Out of the gun, they run it with Hall. Oh, he shifts past him, and he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. 
They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. Four receivers on the field. It's third and four. Now Wilson. Complete. And they move this all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And that could be one of those turning point plays in a ball game. A field goal gets you the lead here, but they want to make a statement and get six points. And they're certainly going to get that opportunity as they get the conversion and set up first and goal. Uh, give to Hall running right. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there. That's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. From the shotgun, Wilson. Touchdown, Jets! Alan Lazard from six yards away. And the Jets have taken the lead. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open in the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that makes the score 14-7. to Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And no return from Montgomery. Bring it out to the 25. New England trotting into place on offense. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down into those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. Zappy looking to throw it on first down. Hunter Henry brings it in. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. here. second and a yard from the 34. Zappi off play action. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. He'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. Chalk that one up to bad acting, I guess, because they certainly failed to sell the handoff, and the pressure stayed keyed in on the quarterback. No Oscar awards for this offense, just a loss of yardage. A tough spot here after that sack. Zappi and the Pats now face a third and long. They'll set up to throw. Oh, well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Sauce Gardner picks it off. 
And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a jet touchdown. What you just saw there, first round talent, second year, even more success. A pick six for a touchdown. And a great play. And it's tough for these guys, you've told me before, to adjust in the secondary as a first year guy. So that sophomore season, it's big for them. They really start to expand the playbook for them even more. Sometimes they dumb it down a little bit to make them comfortable year one. By year two, they should have all the nuances, and now they've adjusted to the speed of NFL play as well. Showed right there. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21-7. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And no return from Montgomery. Bring it out to the 25. New England's offense set to go. And remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six. So we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. And sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, I guess that answers the question whether or not they want him throwing it again right away after throwing the pick six in the previous drive. Yeah, not something conservative or underneath. Pretty big shot right there. Got him right back in the saddle and said, go ahead and sling it, big guy. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Zappi looks to throw it. And his throw is incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hoping they can come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Zappi from the gun. Oh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. So after three drives and three touchdowns combined between these two clubs, finally we get a defensive stop. Yes, and welcome to the party, defensive players. And glad to have you because for a while there, it almost felt like it was 11 going downfield on air. Okay, so to be able to have someone come up, make a stop, now we've got a football game going. Fielded at about the 28. Call that a 44-yard punt, five on the return. And the Jets will take over. Here come the Jets and Zach Wilson for their next possession. He had the short touchdown pass on their previous drive, and they'll begin again here on first and 10. Wilson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. An ideal beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 and a first down. So how do you beat man coverage? First of all, you want to be a superior receiver, but you know something, that guy who's covering you, he's usually pretty good too. So the corner route is usually a great spot to get it done. On first and 10, it's Wilson. This is Lazard with a catch out left. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. 
To throw is Wilson. That's complete to Lazard. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, minicamp, and just regular season, they got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. Wilson now to throw on third down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Jets first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. Straight ahead is Hall. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. 47 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Ball again. A nice little juke. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Line of scrimmage, the nine. Second and about a yard. From the gun, it's Wilson. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Four yards there as they let him out of the pocket, and he got enough for the first. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. The line of scrimmage once again the five as they get ready for second and goal. They go play action now. Wilson eluding the pressure. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Zach Wilson. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Jets take a three-touchdown lead. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Zerline now for the PAT. He knocks it through. It's 28-7. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was Zach Wilson who took it in himself on the touchdown run to cap it off. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Here comes Montgomery now to return it. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. And the Patriots gearing up to go now. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and 10. Zappy. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Douglas. It'll go as a gain of four, and that's going to bring up second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here, and what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. 
second and six. They'll try the left side with Stevenson. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now, Lou. One of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. And this offense on third down today, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. They're up against a third and one situation. Here's Zappi. He's got his target. That's complete. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Juju Smith-Schuster, 63 yards. And the Patriots are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. And they just ran the fly route there, didn't they? You broke it down perfectly. He ends up catching that one and taking it all the way into the end zone. Well, thanks. It was pretty simple to break down, though. I mean, that's just a guy going, running on the go route, making a play. Speed, kills. speed, <laughs> speed. And what does it do? It kills. There you go. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And that cuts the lead to 28-14. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. The Jets take it over again. Brees Hall making his way out with the offense. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. Now Hall to start the drive. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. On third down, Wilson. That is caught. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. But things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. On first down, Wilson. This pass out wide the hall. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Play action. Now Wilson. He's going to wind up and air it out. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Throwing is Wilson. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Cobb. 
And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. Well, they run the option here on first and 10. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with a defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. And Wilson going to keep it again. Able to power through. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. I'm actually looking at this play with defensive eyes here, partner, because they were still laser focused on him after his earlier exploits on this drive. I think they went back to the well just a little bit too soon. He got across the line of scrimmage, but they certainly weren't giving up much more than that. Wilson throw here pulled in by Lazard. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll leave him with a third and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll run with Hall. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 68 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. They'll look to run with Hall. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Brees Hall with his second touchdown here in this first half as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. So he had the nice run to get him down there, was stopped just short of the goal line, but they go right back to him, CD, and he delivers to finish the drive off. A little extra determination there, don't you think, partner? You notice he didn't tap on his helmet and say, get me out after the run down to the end zone. He said, I almost got in. I'm going to get in on my own. I'm staying in, and he carries it across the goal line. Zerline good with a PAT. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. But Juju Smith-Schuster and the rest of the Patriots offense ready to go to work once more. He's up near 100 yards now here in the second quarter, but his team's down. Through no fault of his own. I mean, <laughs> what a nice game he's having so far. They've got to keep finding ways to get him the football. Don't get away from that. Figure out where things are going wrong with the rest of the team. He'll be hoping to hit that 100-yard mark on this drive. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Well, they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. It's been a very one-sided game so far. they got to change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't, because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try and put some points on the board. Zappy now on first and 10. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Hey, 
Second down and a little more than a yard here. Going play action here with Zappi. That is caught by Smith-Schuster. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Juju Smith-Schuster with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Patriots get a bit closer. What a first half he is compiling here. He's already over 100 yards receiving and now two touchdowns, CD. Brandon, you know I don't like to play the game where you start projecting when you're at a certain point. But let's face it, he's off to a tremendous start. So 200 yards, four touchdowns. I don't think anything's out of the question right now. He's blowing up coverages. You've got to double him every snap. Otherwise, he's going to defeat you on almost every play. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And the lead will be cut down to 14. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. Xavier Gibson now from his end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. Brees Hall help leading out this offense for another series. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson, he'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Second and five. Here's Wilson. And check down complete to Hall. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. A five-yard pass on first down and another five-yard connection there. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Certainly not the way they drew it up in the playbook, but that's why they love this guy back there. He sees things breaking down, and he's more than capable of finding an escape route and still getting a decent gain. Here's Wilson. Open man here is Conklin. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. From midfield now, here's Wilson. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. Let's just make this one simple. Could he be any more open than he was on that play? Yeah, they lost him going to the outside. Hard to believe because you go through your accounting on each and every defensive snap. Who's got who, what, what defense you're in. That was totally a blown coverage. And he goes down. It's a Patriots sack. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half.
So now Wilson and the Jets with a third and long here following the sack. On third down, here's Hall. And he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. That hurts. If it was running into the kicker, wouldn't be a first down. Roughing, it is a first. And just think about the differences between the two. Running into the kicker almost feels inadvertent, just a small tap, so to speak. But when you rough him, usually bodies are hitting the ground and flying all different places. And the difference is five yards or 15. And in this case, that's a big play. A lack of discipline defensively on fourth down, and now that leads to a first and ten. Now Wilson. His throw incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Now a second and ten. From the shotgun, Wilson. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. You know, it's been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball to come in his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. Wilson. And that's going to be too high. And incomplete. And I feel like my man, Old Mo, momentum might be changing jerseys right now. How about what they just got done? It's going to touch down the last try. Now here's a three and out. Maybe momentum's getting ready to creep to the other sideline. On fourth down, here's the veteran Thomas Morstead to punt for the Jets. And yeah, this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And the ball backed way up, so thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. We were treated to a solid first half out of the running back, Brees Hall. He chipped in a couple of touchdown runs as he was running with determination right from the word go. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. And the Jets set to receive this third quarter kickoff, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in the second half. This fielded right at the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. And the Jets going to take over on offense to begin this third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? 
Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. Now Wilson on first down. Caught left side by Cobb. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Short completion, just four yards, and that will bring up second down. I like the thought process. I like the design, but I think he may have waited a little too long to spot his man because if you're going to run that drag route, you've got to put it on him and let him turn up field. Instead, he waits until his receiver's too close to the sideline and they don't get the yards after the catch. Now Wilson, he dumps this one off here to Hall. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. Running left, it's Hall. He'll get this to about the 38. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. All again on second down. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? To throw is Wilson. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to roll him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. Well, it's too early to figure out what kind of adjustments this defense made at halftime, but that's a good start to the second half. They can now afford to give up more points and fall further behind, so well done to force the punting situation here. And here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Juju Smith-Schuster and the rest of this offense heading back out there. A monster game so far, third quarter. He is lighting up the stat sheet. And so many times when you see these types of games, you hear about the quarterback, or we talk about the quarterback throwing guys open, putting it in the right spot. How about some credit for the receivers, yeah, absolutely. though? Absolutely. Who find ways to get open, whether they uncover late in a route or they get open early, but they just always find a way. And he's having that type of a game. Yeah, he's been nearly impossible to cover. Zappi's throw here taken in by Parker. And past the 30 before he's out of bounds. 23 yards on the play. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. To the right side, this is Stevenson. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. 51 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Play fake, and now here's Zappi. And that's going to be incomplete. 
But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to, and maybe his rhythm is confused. just off? He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. Zappy now on second down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And there was a good opportunity to just want to ride there. A drop pass. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Zappi looks to throw it. And that is incomplete. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he was fortunate on that one not to have another turnover on his ledger. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on to kick it away. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Time for another drive here for this Jets offense. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. That's complete to Cobb. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Second and a couple. Ball want to give up the middle. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. Now it's Wilson. He's going to loft one deep left side here. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Here's a second and five. From the gun, it's Wilson. Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. And that's a defensive coordinator has got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. There's Wilson to throw. And that one goes incomplete on the drop. That's one he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. One of those extra defenders on the field. Dime package. Lots of speed. No space to fit in the football. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for New York. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. So the Patriots coming out now. 
Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Zappi and the Patriots come up here, first and 10. At their own 16. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for Nart. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. On second down, it's Stevenson. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. 63 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Zappi fakes a handoff, looks to throw it. Completes it to Douglas. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A gain of 32 that time. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop and that takes a little bit of extra time excellent job by the big fellas up front so how about that for a chain mover they're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10 straight ahead at Stevenson now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage and now a pause it looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play we'll get a report when we return to Foxborough so the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. And they'll run the toss here with Stevenson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and making sure nothing could get to the outside. But he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Zappi in trouble, and he's going down. Call it a loss of four there on the sack. And speaking of the number four, it brings up fourth down now. A third and long, you knew that he was going to throw it. He just couldn't find anybody to throw it to. Yeah, and it shouldn't have been a surprise, but that was perfect execution of their nickel defense. That fifth defensive back, the extra defender, he really tightened up things downfield and coverage, and they were able to get to him in the pocket. Now the Jet offense about to take over as they head out onto the field. Now if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? We're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10. At their own 22, they'll bring one of the tight ends in motion left. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Now second and three. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. He sets to fire deep. And it's knocked away and incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Wilson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. And Lazard's got it again. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. Wilson will throw again. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Christian Barmore getting in there to drop him. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. So now Wilson and the Jets with a third and long here following the sack. Now Wilson, throwing on third and long. And this is going to be incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. Depth deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. Zappi and the Patriots come up here first and 10 at their own 15. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He has just not had his focus in this game. It's not one drop. It's not two. That's three for this contest. Yeah, uncharacteristic for any NFL receiver, and he's no exception. A second and ten now. Third quarter action from Foxborough. And Zappi to throw. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Here's Zappi. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively, and you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. The Patriots send out their punter. Standing just about on his own goal line. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Jets will take over first and 10. They'll start on the ground, Hall, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Second down and eight. Now Wilson. incomplete. The 
listen, when you've got the lead, there's absolutely no sense trying to fit a ball in where you shouldn't. You can see the coaching in his head taking place on that play because he saw he had a receiver in the area. He just put it well over his head, out of harm's way. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Throwing is Wilson. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. This is taken at the 15. It's a 45-yard punt, then eight on the return. And the Patriots take over. New England trotting into place on offense. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Going play action here with Zappi. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. And that's caught inside the 35. Big play there for New England. 45 yards. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? Got caught in or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And he'll get this just inside the 30-yard line. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. Now Zappi. It's complete to Brown, right side. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Zappi going to bootleg out. And that is incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. And he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. Ezekiel Elliott not able to get it past the marker. And the Jets are going to get the football back. So he needed the short yard as Charles he elected to try to bounce it outside of the outer third unsuccessful. Sometimes those plays are stacked up by the defense and there's nowhere to go so you have to bounce it outside. And some backs just get impatient. They want to go to where they think there's more open territory instead of going where the play was actually blocked. In any case, it didn't work here. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 23. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson caught left side by Cobb. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. 
And that'll bring up second down. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough. Ball on the 27. Here's second down at seven. Here's Wilson. And his throw is incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to clean throw his way. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Now Wilson. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Pulled in at the 24. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Well, that looked for a second like he might take it all the way, but as it stands, it's still a massive return. And the Patriots will have great starting position as they take over first and ten. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. On the counter, it's Stevenson. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. From the 31, here's a second down and nine. Zappi back to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. He started out having some troubles back in the first half connecting with his receivers. Really hasn't gotten a whole lot better. Yeah, he's at less than 50%, and you and I both know that just won't do. So I would think about spreading things out, putting it on the receivers, make them win those one-on-one -on -one battles on the perimeter and find their way open. Zappi on third down. I had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. On oh, now the rookie fourth-round pick, Chad Ryland, for the Patriot field goal. This one from 48 yards away. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. Well, no field goal attempts for him until the final quarter, but no hesitation on his end. He comes right out and nails his first field goal try. I give him a lot of credit, too, because he stood there the entire ball game, but has managed to stay with it both mentally and physically. When they called on him, he was ready, and he knocked it through the posts. Ryland now following the touchdown back out to kick it away. And this taken in at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23 yard line. New York ready to go again offensively. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10. 
at their own 23. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson. And that throw behind his man. He missed him. Incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Out of the gun. Here's Wilson. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Mac Wilson. And they're going to set up shop at the 20-yard line. And now with that interception, you feel like we got a ball game again. Remember, two-score contest and still time left here in the fort. And in the old days, not too long gone either. Throwing the ball here would have been an absolute no-no, but the way the game's played now, throwing it makes sense. You just have to be careful when you put it in the air. Getting set to go again on offense, here's Devontae Parker now. And I know that they've double-teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. On first down, here's Zappi. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. From the 20, here's a second down and four. Out of the gun, they give it to Stevenson. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork, and they add a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Again, it's Stevenson. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Give the tackle that time to Jordan Whitehead. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I'd keep going back to him. Now second and five. Zappi. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. The offense on third down, a pretty anemic, a very anemic one for nine thus far. This will be third and five. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. On now, the rookie fourth-round pick, Chad Ryland, for the Patriot field goal. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And his kick is indeed good, and that'll make this an eight-point game. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. The New York set to take the field. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago, so they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and 10.
On first and 10, it's Hall. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Now it's Wilson. Open man here is Conklin. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll leave him with third and a full yard to go. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Here comes a big one as this crowd gets out making some noise. It's third and short. Here's Wilson. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for New York. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. The Patriots ready to try again on offense. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. The drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks, and when you don't, that's the result you end up with. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. They run once more with Stevenson. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Not the start to the drive they were looking for. That run doesn't do much at all. No, not at all. And it leaves them with third and long. And you know, this is the time of game where these drives really, really start to matter. They've got to make some moves. Looking to throw. Zappi. And that'll be complete to Stevenson. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. The whole idea of the screen pass is to fool the defense in a big way and create a big play. They weren't fooled. Not one <laughs> second, not one bit. How about them figuring it out, diagnosing it, and spilling it for lost yardage? The Patriots send out their punter, standing right on his own five-yard line. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. And now out come the Jets. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw here pulled in by Lazard. But right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. On second down, a run with Hall. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Jets first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, Keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. 
such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Second down and three. Here's Wilson to throw. That's complete right side to Lazard. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. His big game continues. Ten catches now and another first down. Now it's Wilson. is moving it a little bit out and back on their heels, but they're on a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try now to stand before they're backed up even further. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing again here, Wilson. And he comes back with one complete. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Wilson. And he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags, and I believe this is going to be a first down. Trailing in the fourth this close of a game, that's a penalty you just can't afford. It's an absolute killer, and it's one that drives coaches and teammates insane. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Wilson. That's going to be caught. Touchdown. Tyler Conklin. 31 yards. And the Jets have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. But that's certainly an important touchdown there. It makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that could win the game for us. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. And the lead is up to 15 now. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And no return from Montgomery. Bring it out to the 25. And now out come the Patriots. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Zappi looking to throw it on first down. Over the middle, he's got part, and the ball is knocked out. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. And the defense not able to get it. From a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. You've probably talked about since training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. 
is a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Second and 10, once again, here's Zappi. That is caught by Smith-Schuster. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets, 43. A good pick up there, 22. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Zappi now on first and 10. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Douglas. And he's taken down inside the 30. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. But correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Under pressure and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. The former third overall pick, Quinnen Williams there to bring him down. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. Well, partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. On third down, here's Stevenson. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. How about that? They weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. Well, sometimes, Brandon, there's just not a secret to how things get done. He's been running well all game long, and they continue to rely on him in this key situation. They told us they were going to rely on him. They have. He comes through there a big third down conversion. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. He was waving his arms, wanted the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass that you blew coverage on, what did you say to him? Yeah, it's really not right since I blew coverage, but <laughs> since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He, <laughs> wasn't, real he wasn't real thrilled with that. That's cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. <laughs> He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. And did he get the feet down? Yes, touchdown. Devontae Parker with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Patriots are able to cut into that deficit. So this now a nine-point difference. You figure the book here says kick the extra point, make it a one-score game. Now you and I have seen coaches get overly aggressive in this spot, but I agree with you. Kick it here and get back within a score. And now in a nine-point game, they'll still just need to go for one here. And it's good, so that will get them back within one score. A 10-play drive that time. And Devontae Parker able to finish it off with a touchdown reception. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. And New York set to take the field. 
And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game. You're in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts as well as opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well and that one's incomplete. Second and ten. It's Wilson again. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. On third and one, Wilson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Wilson going to keep it on the option. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. Now try and wind down some clock with Kirk. And he'll take this up over the 40 to about the 41. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Third and nine here. Here's Wilson. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hurt. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for New York. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. So here is Zappi and the Patriots. Down by eight. Just over a minute, 40 to play. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Here's Zappi. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scam the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Zappi to throw. Sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Sauce Gardner picks it off. And this one will be brought back to the 22. Well, this game has now been short on intrigue, but that's the backbreaker right there, and it's going to put any hope of victory to bed. Yeah, they knew they needed the touchdown, and when you have that little time remaining, they know they've got no choice except to go for broke, and that they did. But the interception, that means defeat. And New York set to take the field. And still a little bit of time left, but the defense can't stop the clock, so three kneel downs should be enough to finish this one off. And they'll indeed 
take a knee. success running the football in this one well, that's undeniable but that time the defense was on to it and partner i think the more you see a play like this the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it i think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks so he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up and he's going to want to keep that game ball he was sensational Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. And with that, we say so long from Foxborough.